Because now you're going to be going, you're going to be operating off of Satan's knowledge. What happened with Eve? He told her his lie. And she believed it. She was in a deal with the devil. What she did, she went and took that to Adam. You know, his lie was against God. God said one day, you got the truth? Satan said, nah, that's what God told you? Listen, God just jealous. <laughs> you know you're going to be on the level as God's. He don't want you to reach that level. He believed it, therefore she's now a Satan worshiper. She made a pact with the devil. She took it to Adam. Adam believed Eve. Satan had them both now. Anybody understand that? Adam and Eve, they made a choice. Anybody understand that? And their choice brought about their decision. Their decision changed their destiny. Where were they? They were in paradise. It was never meant for man to die. God said that. They were supposed to live a thousand years in the flesh, and then they were supposed to move on into immortality. But because of the a decision that they made, they chose to believe Satan. They ended up getting kicked out of paradise. Now they was on a road to hell. They learned their lesson, and they changed their destiny. And they ended up in heaven. The scripture says that wisdom, it, prefer, it preserved the first, form, the first form father and brought him out of his fall. So listening to the wisdom of God, they eventually, Adam and Eve eventually went into heaven. Do everybody understand that? But it changed their destiny from they was already in paradise. When Christ called on the cross, paradise, the kingdom of God the Father, it was here on this earth. The Bible don't change. Lord God, how shall we pray? How shall we pray to the Father? Christ said, pray that his will be done on earth. That his kingdom come as it is in heaven. Let it be on earth. That's how it was in the beginning. But destiny change based on choices. And I'm going to start speeding it up now. Second Ezra chapter 7 verse 6. Read that for me, please. There is also another thing. Okay, this is what the Lord is telling Ezra. Read on. A city is builded. Read on. And set upon a broad field. Read on. And it's full of all good things. And it's full of what? All good things. And it's full of what? All good things. Read on. The entrance thereof is narrow. Read on. And it's set in a dangerous place to fall. Read on. Like as if there were a fire on the right hand. Read on. And on the left. A deep water. Read on. And one only path Read between. Again. And one only path. Read on. Between them both. Okay, so you got choices. There's only one path to that city that's full of good things. But it's in a dangerous place. And based on that danger that people are facing, they're going to make choices. So what God said is this. Read on. Even between the fire. Read on. And the water. Read on. So small. Read on. That there could be one man. Go there at once. Okay, so now let me break it down. Let's just say you got this beautiful, glorious city. Streets of gold. You see it lighting up when the sun hit it. Y'all know how gold shines. It's all kind of jewels in this city. And when y'all know how jewels shine when the light hit it. And you see this thing and you're on the other side and that city is lit. And then you look down and there's nothing there but a tightrope. And on this side is fire, on that side is water. And everybody got to go alone. Get, get, get. You got to. <laughs> and everybody else watching that. <laughs> Some people are going to make the, make the decision. I'm not going to walk that rope. The hell with that. They made a choice. Some people are saying, listen, I got to get to that city. I don't want to be here. This place is not shining. The light is hitting this place and it's still dark. I'm, I'm walking out. <laughs> Fire come up. <laughs> Fire come up. Some cats start walking backwards. <laughs> like they got the N1 vaccine, y'all.
That's what God said your life is going to be like. He said the same thing about Adam and Eve. He put them out of the garden and said, lest they put forth their hand. It shows they still had a chance towards the tree of life and live forever. He says, it's on them now. They had paradise and they chose not to stay in it. So now destiny has changed. And they went out there in a world where Satan was waiting, okay? Their own son turned into a complete demon. They dealt with pain. Losing a child now. Where's Abel? Cain's in the room. Where is Abel? Had to hide in the damn bloody glove. Where's Abel? Yeah, like y'all ain't get that yet. <laughs> And it just got to the point where it got out of control. And they were seeing this, but they chose still to live a certain way. They changed their destiny again. We're going to get back to where we came from. We're not going to stay here in this, this hell. We're going to deal with all the dangers. And it got to the point where it got so bad that God ended the world. The ones that were saved is the ones that made the right choices. So this city got fire and water on either side. There's only one path. God tells the same thing about the truth. Enter ye in at the straight gate. Said the kingdom of heaven that ever since it was preached, people, they pressed into it. Only one man can go at a time. It's about your life and how you live it. It shows whether you're in there walking towards that straight gate, whether you're going there one at a time, or whether you're straying off the path. But it's one thing that Christ said. You, know, you want to be in this truth? You got to come through the straight gate. Don't try to come up no other way. Don't try to damn not do the unit work. Okay? Don't try to not give the sacrifice, the living sacrifice. You're going to try to do it some other way. You know? Don't try to be like one of those wicked damn, damn Israelites that was traitors during the time of the Greeks and promised presents to somebody in charge. You know? Get a position. Now, you got to earn it to Christ's kingdom. That's what he's talking about. So what does it say in verse 9? Read on. If this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance. Is this city given as an inheritance to a man? What's the name of that man? What's the name of that man? What's the name of that man? Read on. If you never should pass the danger set before it. You got some people that's just going to run. I ain't going to deal with that. Read on. How shall he receive this inheritance? Yeah, how are you ever going to get the inheritance without dealing with the danger? Just because there, it, it gets difficult, that's not a reason for you to um, backtrack, backslide, turn. So the Lord came back and said, what? Read on. And I said, read on. It is so, Lord. Read on. Then said he unto me, even so also is Israel's portion. Read on. Because for their sakes. I made the world. Read on. And when Adam transgressed my statutes. When he made a decision, when he made a choice, read on. Then was decreed. Read it again. Then was decreed. Read it one more time. Then was decreed. Read on. That now is done. That's when destiny changed. The Lord gave another order. And that order came down on earth. Kick him out. Read on. Then were the entrances of this world made narrow. Now in order to get to this city, you got to walk that tightrope. Read on. Full of sorrow. Read on. And travail. Come on. They are but few and evil. Read on. Full of peril. Read on. And very painful. That's your life, okay? Accept it. You got to be one. Well, <laughs> that ain't right. Accept it. You live in a dangerous place. You know, some people get immune to the danger, okay? They live in certain neighborhoods, gunshot ring. Bah, 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 bah. You can't still be talking on the cell phone. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, huh? Yeah, niggas shooting again, you yeah? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, yeah. Niggas ain't even hitting the deck no more. You like, what the hell? <laughs> I ain't never scared, yo. Niggas shooting, I ain't scared. I, I'm, listen, y'all think I'm just, look, I watched a Negro in Harlem do this, okay? He was in an argument with another Negro, so the other Negro pulled out a gun about the size of his leg. <laughs> and all the other cat was still standing there, what's that supposed to mean, son? That ain't supposed to mean nothing. Yo, you straight up pee, yo. <laughs> so 
So then you hear the shot. Bah! <laughs> Nigga running. Satan is desensitized. They're trying to make people be stupid, okay? They're listening to people like, damn, what's that nigga name? Damn, b- b- I'm about to say big pun. What's that nigga name, huh? What's that nigga name? Bone Crusher. Yeah, y'all see, see Bone Crusher. <laughs> I'm outside of the club and they ain't got my pun. I go to my little drink down and I open the truck. You got people that really believe that. Y'all ain't no punk now. Niggas come out there and they dead now. Even David ran from Saul, okay? He realized the advantages wasn't in his favor, okay? So I'm in this man kingdom, I'm surrounded around God, so he's throwing javelins. I'm out of here, okay? <laughs> he's up there, yo, I done killed Goliath, son. You know what this is? <laughs> and when I go out to war, I kill my 10,000. <laughs> Recognize. So, <laughs> Israel is a kid. I'm telling you, these guys are something else. <laughs> it's dangerous. The bottom line, the point is that we're living in a dangerous place. Um, and the scripture says that wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of your times. The way you're going to be able to make it through all this danger is by the, the decisions and the choices you make. Like, people that's in the most, like, they got some statistics about the most dangerous city in, in America. Some of the most dangerous cities. You got, don't you know you got people that hear that and want to live there just because it's the most, you know, I'm telling you, you know where I'm from, son? I'm the eight mile, niggas. <laughs> Being eaten by that, know he was in Pleasantville. Nigga that moved to the eight mile just so he can say he's from there. You got kids that look to go to jail just so they can say they was in jail. You know, if you can live in a better community, ain't nothing wrong with that. You ain't supposed to be damn living somewhere that you know hell gonna break loose and then when you lose one of your kids, then you damn sitting up there crying. It's about choices. Choices. Read verse 13. For the entrances of the elder world Read on. were wide and sure Read on. and brought immortal fruit. So the world that they were in, it was everything was sure, okay? They didn't have to do nothing. When they walked, listen, the angels were taking care of them. They just took care of everything. They had to do nothing. They didn't have to till the ground. They had to do nothing. Everybody understand that? The angels just did everything. Everything was just perfect, okay? They woke up. It was just succulent fruit hanging. They was like, man, this thing is juicy. This thing is juicy. Everything that they needed, it was always beautiful weather. They just always felt good, like the kingdom going to feel. Satan came up in there and then, you know, went to Eve. You know. Everything changed. Read on. And then they that live labor not to enter these straight and vain things. Read on. They can never receive those that are laid up for them. Okay. Destiny. That's what that's describing. Destiny. You have to labor to enter these things. You have to deserve. Another thing that Christ said in the book of Luke is that pray that you be accounted worthy to stand before the Son of Man. Accounted worthy means that you are deserving, that you earned it. 